up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Welcome back, man. Yo, welcome back to some Diablo. Yeah. <laughs> welcome back, guys, man. Thank you for clicking on the channel. Uh, thank you for coming to join me, man, on this on this journey, man. I'm pretty excited about this. This is like the first actual uh, this event to hit Diablo 4. It's not a season. The season of blood is still going on right now. That ends through January 23rd of next year. And right now we have the mid-winter flight. Uh, this one just started. Uh, the day I'm making the video, I believe it's been out maybe like a day. Um, I know this one will air on Thursday. So when the video airs out, it'll probably be out about a week that the event is out. Uh, you have plenty of time to play it. Uh, it doesn't end until January the 2nd. That's when the event ends. And we'll click on it now, man. The midwinter blight. Hell freezes over for midwinter blight. An especially bitter cold has swept through the snow capped mountaintops of the fractured peaks. The wind pierces through the region, carrying with it the ravenous well of a bizarre beast rumored to dwell in the frost laden hinterland. The midwinter blight limited time holiday event is upon us. From December 12th, 10 a.m. through January 2nd, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, players on the seasonal rim in the World Tier 1 or above can sink their sword into frostbitten demons by heading over to the Midwinter Square in Kyobashad and speaking with Ilium, the bar. Reinvigorate the Midwinter Square with festive feeling and rewards such as mountain trophy, class specific back trophies, weapon cosmetics, the Shard of Dawn, offensive legendary aspect, and more can be yours. Have a happy holiday in hell. The Diablo 14. Let's go, baby. So, of course, I already have uh, seasonal characters. But what I'm going to do is, you know, since this is a new video for the, the Midwinter Blight, we'll go ahead and create a brand new character real quickly. Uh, the class that we'll go with, man, I think I'm going to go with the Druid. I'm going to start with the Druid class. It's just like the Midwinter Blight. You know, the Druid kind of like controls the uh, cold and stuff like that. So I may end up like, you know, doing that later. But I, I really freaking love, I love the enemy. I love the uh, barbarian. I think the barbarian class is so freaking cool, bro. It's so cool. Um, um, so what we'll do is, I believe I'm going to just go ahead and say, I feel like everybody plays barbarian. Well, not everybody, but... To me, it's such a. To me, it's a. It's a really good class. It's not a hard class to try to learn. Um, uh, but we're gonna go. We'll go to Druid class, and then we'll name him Blight. You know what I'm saying? That should be straight. You know what I'm saying? We'll name him Blight. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. We'll do just a little customizer real quickly. You know what I'm saying? We'll make this go by real quick, man. Uh, I'm pretty excited about the event, though. Um, I think the event is going to be pretty cool. Uh, we finally get a chance to kind of um, um, get like a little glimpse into um, the first uh, what Diablo 14 can can provide when it comes to. You know, like putting out DLC content. So, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to be pretty cool. So it should be pretty fun. Uh, facial hair. Let's see. We'll put a little full beard on. Blight. I don't got no blue, so we'll do that. We'll do that color right there. They got blue eyes. We can put them on too. Boom, we'll throw some blue eyes too to match the hair. Accessories, we'll need no makeup on. Jewelry, we'll do like a leather. Let's see, tattoos. I should have one because I bought a DLC pack. So, oh, uh, boom, we got that one right there. Let's see what colors they got. They got that color. They got the white. I think that's a new one. We could get something that matches like. the design mid 
such a block. Yo, that that tattoo looks crazy on the druid. Holy crap. That looks crazy. Hey. Or we could just do it white. Alright, and then we'll skip campaign. Y'all say I'm not gonna put on hardcore, so I'm gonna like, in case I die, create a whole new character. I'm gonna do blight. This is midwinter. Blight. Right, let's see. That should be it, man. We'll go with that. Skip campaign. See you around. Go we'll start a world to one. started small. Nameless people that no one would miss. Dead. Discarded. Their throats torn open. The church ignored the killings. Even as fear mounted like the bodies. The and the brave fought to end the corruption. But they were too late. Oh my god. It changed them. Killed them. Brought them back. Hungry. Yo. I have fought this plague a long time. We need something different. A survivor with all of their strengths and none of our weaknesses. Someone unexpected. And they'll never see you. Gosh, the gore, the sound effects. I don't know how Diablo 4 did not win any rewards this season at the Game Awards. I don't have, there's no way it didn't win anything. Um, so, oh, so this must be it right here, the purple area. This gotta be it right here. Oh, okay. So maybe that's how we'll know when there's an event going on, it'll be purple. Um, but what we just got done watching, that's the actual cinematic for season two of Blood. Um, so let's try over here. Because they said it would be in Kyobusha. And then I'm guessing the little pink symbol on the map, that's where we're supposed to, that's who we're supposed to talk to. So we'll do that. All right, let's see. Yep, the Midwinter Blight. Speak with Gillian the Bard in Kyobusha. Okay. I think I've ever introduced myself to someone I've sung about. Be because I sing about a lot of things, I mean. <clears throat> Gilly, traveling bard. Okay. Open event shop. Okay. What's the event shop? Cosmetic back trophy for the barbarian. Cosmetic bat trophy for a druid, necromancer, sorcerer. This is a okay. You got a tomahawk, sword, totem, a beacon, or focus, a shield, sword, crossbow, cosmetic staff. What is this? At the 30 seconds of of Knight's Grasp, gain Dunn's Haste, increasing your attack speed by 25-35% and movement spear speed by 20% for 12 seconds while empowered by the Midwinter Ward. Killing an enemy reduces Knight's Grasp's duration by 1 second. What is Knight's Grasp? Midwinter Spoils, Akashi, Magic Elixir, Magic Midwinter Cachet. Oh, so you could buy stuff from him? 
It don't look like much you could buy from him. Uh, what's happening? Oh, well, uh, fractured peaks is always dangerous. But now, in these deep winter months, monsters of an entirely different sort stalk us. During this time, this midwinter blight, we aim to inspire hope that endures in the darkness. I'm no fighter, but a hero of some such as you. If you hunt these monsters and bring back proof, we can display it in this square, both as a ward and a promise of fortitude. Okay. The Midwinter Blight. The Red Cloak Horror and its mischievous blight fiends, fiends are relentless terrorizing the fractured peaks. Conquer Midwinter Blight monsters and activities to collect blighted fragments, lost heirlooms, and Red Cloak Trophy event materials. Exchange event materials for the Midwinter Proofs at the collection table in Kyoga Shot to upgrade the Midwinter Square and unlock a series of rewards. Okay. Use midwinter proofs to purchase limited time event rewards for from Gillian. Okay. Gather and exchange midwinter materials for midwinter proof. Okay. Use these to purchase midwinter rewards from Gillian at the Kyoga Shot. At the midwinter square in Kyoga Shot. Exchange blight for. So is it just so is blight the new currency right now that's going on? You can exchange it and get stuff. Okay. Gather and exchange me with some materials. Okay. How am I supposed? I can't gather anything right now. Okay. Okay, and I'm guessing we gather them where? I'm not sure, but we have eight points I can use. Okay, so we're going to be doing a grizzly thing. I like the grizzly bear. So we'll do that. Let me just hit my maw, then fortify. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we're gonna get pulverized. Your next pulverize overpower every 12 seconds while you maintain healthy. Perfect. Hit by pulverize. Anyways, overpowered by pulverize or stunned for two seconds. Well, we don't always be overpowered, so right now we'll take reduced damage. We'll do that and then. We'll get pulverized and strength up. I got two more I can use. Alright, we'll do that. I want to get pulverized. Alright, we'll get pulverized and damage up first. Alright, man. Let's see, Nolly. I, I know they also um, have like things in the store. Or did we just level up? Okay. So we just level up and got another point, so. Boom, there we go. <laughs> now Pulverize is maxed out at level 2. <laughs> oh, man. And then I know they have um, something going on in the shop right now. Let's see what's in the shop right now. Yo, I want this one so bad. The Frost Lord. Yo, look at this. This Druid skin is amazing. Amazing. That's one of the best Druid skins, I think, to me in the game is this one best one by far all right so they got this right here the midwinter blight uh, this is a collection like it's going on the full term of the of the event so you can purchase these cosmetics in the store for a limited time uh, this is the one for the druid right here I mean, it doesn't look horrible but it doesn't look like oh my gosh I gotta have that all right then this is the one for the necromancer that still looks pretty cool mid 
Mid Winter Charmer. This is for the Sorcerer. Now that looks like an actual Christmas theme. Theme like apparel. And then we got Midwinter Stalker. Yo. Now that's fine. The why does the rogue man the rogue be having oh my gosh, bro. The rogue be having some really really good skins, man. The rogue be having some good skins, yo. I like that skin. That's that's a really good one to me. That's good. I might get that one. <laughs> and then of course we got one for the barbarian. That's a barbarian skin right there. Man, I think it looks I think it looks pretty cool. I like the kind of the gold, green, and red theme that they're going with. You know, of course it's Christmas time, like it's holiday well it's holiday season, so. I Man, I, I like them so far, and then there's also a horse. That's so oh, cool. <laughs> Holy what is that? Oh my gosh. It's like they stitched the horse back together. But it still got bones showing. His head is still yo what? What's the armor? Wow. Oh my gosh, that's nice. That looks really pretty. I actually like that. I like that. That's that's pretty cool to me. I like that. Yep, I like that. That's pretty cool. So I mean, so the cosmetics to me are the cosmetics are pretty straight, you know. Um, I don't see anything new in here for add-ons. Yeah, I don't see anything new in there. Uh, but we'll go here. Slay horrors of the midwinter blight to collect their seasonal offerings. Okay. I'm going to just go here and see what happens. Let's see. Man, I haven't put out a Diablo 4 video in a minute. But I still been I still have been playing the game though. Um Oh, what does it say? Collect blighted fragments by slaying two blighted fragments. Okay. Got some new pants I could put on. Uh, let's see. Should knock down enemies. What is this? Yo! No, 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 no! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Yes! Oh, I didn't drop really nothing, bro. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, let's see. Uh, damage to healthy. I will put that on. 7% of the overpower. Of oh, the 1% chance to execute enemies. Uh, let's see, we'll focus on overpower. Alright, let's see. We'll use that to try to get Maul up as well. Oh wait, can I take that away and get the wolves now? Oh dang, I can't get the wolves yet. Alright, then we'll do that. Alright, there we go. Hey, there we go. So am I supposed to be, is something supposed to be here or something? 
Or is it showing us in the middle, probably? Okay, well, there's a cellar here. Alright, let's see what's in here. We well, don't want none of this, boy. I don't want none of this. Whoa. First of all, you you're out of my face. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so it keeps telling me to go back here. Well, let's go back and see. Gather and exchange midwinter materials for midwinter proofing. Okay, so here. I don't own any of it. I'm not. There's not enough materials. I'm not understanding what it wants me to do. Is mine like not working or something? Gather and exchange midwinter materials for a winter midwinter proof. Okay. It says I gather some, so I'm not understanding, like, you know. Mm. I'll tell you, what, I'm just peeing there, and we'll just, we'll just walk there. And let's just keep fighting and see what happens. Cause we're in the area right now, so we should be straight to just fight. Who's shooting at me? Oh, let's. Anybody scared? Boy, let go, boy. Uh, 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 get out of my face. Uh. Yeah, my face. Oh, we can get the wolves now, right? Hey, there we go. Whoa, look at that buddy. Okay, we gathered some stuff. Yo, that guy was massive. Look at this dude. Look at him. The enemies definitely look different. All right, see, look, it says five blighted fragments. Okay, so we're we're picking up we're picking up fragments. Uh, I don't know if I want to have one uh, one weapon. I think if I use do it this way. It'll benefit me more because now I can have more legendary items in the future. Alright, let's see. Oh, let's go, boy! One blighted fragment. So, I mean, is it in my inventory? Midwinter proofs use to purchase event rewards for blah 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 earned by exchanging the blighted fragments, lost horror, red. 
uh, at the midwinter squares collect the table okay see see you say I had no midwinter proofs but what about like blighted do I have any blighted still yeah see it says I have 30 in bag I have 30 of them found in fragment pieces I have three lost heirloom okay Okay, cool. All right. What up? Where y'all want under there, boy? Get off of me, boy. Oh, we out here killing it. All right, so I got the wolves to immobilize, stun, slow, or poison enemies. Okay, cool. All right, we're gonna get the wolves, get them, you know what I'm saying, straight. All right, we're gonna capture this, this waypoint real quickly. All right, we got that waypoint. Okay. All right, so it says we have stuff, right? It just said we have stuff. Whatever they're saying we need for the event, it says that we have it, so we should be able to do whatever it is they're trying to tell us to do with the materials i hope it isn't like busted or something gather and exchange mid winter materials for a winter proof okay we we got materials own 30. oh i need 300 of them or i need 30 of those okay so yeah we just gotta keep playing in the area Okay, cool. All right. All right. So let's see. If we would it be easier, like if we did an actual like dungeon? Do y'all think that would work? This expires in 18 minutes. I don't know if that's enough time. <laughs> we should be able to clear it in 18 minutes. Yeah. Let's just go do that one. And that should get that should get get us enough to do what we need to do. I mean, you can't really notice the enemies. Um, yo, those things, they give you some, but they don't give you a lot, though. So we'll just go through this dungeon and see if this dungeon will give us, will give us more. All right, let's see. Hopefully the dungeon, hopefully the dungeon gives us more. Where's the enemies at? Hold on, bro. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, boy. Stop playing with me, boy. Get them, boy. Yeah, get them, boy. Mm, mm, mm. Stop playing with me. Activate the core something. Uh oh. Got him. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Let's go. Okay. Whoa. Get out of the way. Got him. I don't know why. I feel like they fixed the uh, the resources for the. It feels better. Like the druid feels better since the last time I played it. I don't know if they've like up the. I mean, it feels like they've upped the resource generation for the druid. Take that boy out. I mean, I just, like, that's what it feels like. Because, like, it feels really good. Alright, let's see. I 
I just hope the stuff you get from the event is not like seasonal. But I already got a feeling it's going to be seasonal. But I don't feel like I'm getting anything out of here. Like I haven't gotten any any blight stuff out of here. Like at all. So I'm gonna leave the. Uh, we're gonna we'll leave this this dungeon. I get, I haven't gotten like not one thing out of the dungeon. All right, and we'll just we'll just fight out here. Let's see what we can get, cause it wasn't like no blighted enemies in there at all. Well, where the enemies at? Oh, there we go. I want some blighted enemies. What are blighted enemies up? I wish they'd do it like with the vampire, like with that with the event. If you're in the area, that's all you fight are blighted enemies. Alright, let's see if this works. Let's see. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Survive the celebration. Okay. But y'all don't want none of that, boy. Y'all don't want none of that, boy. Oh, hell, boy. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, this is what you need to do. I'm getting a bunch of them already. Oh, yeah. What is this? This is it right here. Oh yeah, this is it. Yeah, I'm getting way more now. Oh, this is way better. Yeah, this is way better. Wait, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm getting way more uh, blight now. So, it looks like you can't get them in dungeons. But you can get them just by walking around. Say slay remaining enemies. What remaining enemies? I can't even do anything to them. Like they can't take any damage from me. I'm not ready yet. Oh, is that how you do it? Oh. Oh, you gotta activate the thing. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. Oh. Okay. Well, that's way better, guys. Way better. Okay. No. On the phone. Okay, we'll just keep the damage reduction that we're getting. 
I got a CEO cache. I got one point. We can put that in the mall. There we go. All right. I, I love how it's like enemies just sitting here waiting on me outside the gate. Man, get no boys. Got him. There we go. Mid winter blight. What is this that's up in the air? Exorcist cachet. What is what is that? What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, that's like a little side quest, I guess, or whatever. Gather an exchange. So I know I need 300 of them. How many do I have right now? Mid winter. Wait, where are the materials? I got 208. Okay. So I need a little bit more. Okay, are there any more events that are out here? Let's see. Deposit notes. Let's go to that one right there. Because it looks like when you're outside in the world, you got a better chance of getting these things. It don't look like the spirits or anybody dropping the actual blight characters, like right here. But we missed all that. Oh, there we go. Oh! Stop playing with me. It definitely feels like they um they did something to the to the druid. Like with his resource generation. I don't know if they made it better or something. I must wait a minute. But it feels better. What am I supposed to do here? Deposit what? Okay, I don't know what just happened, but Whoa. Are these blighted creatures? That's one right there. I heard somebody over here. Oh yeah, let's go. Boy, you don't want this, boy. You. You. We got enough yet? We got 229, okay. We almost got enough. So it looked like just from, let's see. Wait a moment. Yeah, you definitely are getting more by um doing the blighted things. I'm not ready yet. Three blighted. I'm not sure what I got just got there, but is it blight and stuff over here? What's this? Alright, let's go. What are we doing? I'm trying, shorty. Hold up, bro. Who you? I don't wanna do that over here, bro. Uh-uh. Get out of me, bro. Uh-uh. Yeah. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, yo. Woo. She dropped a lot of blight down. Yeah, so you get blight just by fighting in the world.
like when you see these look random events out here these are like the best ways to try to get blight damn it these do so much damage it looks like basic skill I'm gonna just put it on for now all right so we got mall fully upgraded all right Oh, this is celebration thing. Look at this. It's so funny. <laughs> Look, they're going in a circle. What? Man, get them boys. Get them boy, yo. All right, let's go. You gotta wait. You gotta wait till, it, uh, till the thing go all the way over there. And then you can do it. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, what happened? Yeah, they trying to. They keep trying to stop the fire. Uh uh. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Nope. Nope. Come here. Ugh. There we go. Golly. Woo. Yo, there's a lot of them boys. Golly. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shoot. Yeah, Leo. It's like they keep slowing. They keep slowing me down. Come on, wolves! Go attack them boys. Do something, God, Lee. Good Lord. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Good lord, yo, you get a lot of bite for these events. Right here. Oh, this is the way to do it right here. This is it. Get out of the way. Come on, bro. There we go. Man, get her. I don't know why I feel like I'm leveling up faster too. Yo, that should be enough for real right there. Got to be enough. Alright, let's see. Uh, nope, 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 uh, let's see, no, 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 what's this doing, abilities, what do we unlock now, okay, while on web form you receive 5% additional healing from all sources, when you remain in a web format for at least 24 seconds, your next non defensive skill will overpower. Oh, that's what I want right there. A new shapeshift and web become unstoppable and charge for it, dealing 77 damage. Enemies who are knocked back into. I do want the. Uh, where is it at? I do want this right here. Barrier. Unstoppable. I do want that. Uh, but let me do some more to the wolves. So they can also fortify me as well. But we def we should have enough now, bro. I need to go to Kyova Shad anyway because of the uh, my backpack. I need to get my backpack good. All right, let's see. Let's have a look at you. Okay, blah blah blah. Salvage all my junk. I do need to upgrade just so I can 
you know, you get something. Uh, da -da. Let's see. We'll just do this one right here. We'll just upgrade this. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got that upgraded real quick. And then we can go and get our this right here upgraded real quick. So we got more potions. Blah, blah, blah. Boom. There we go. Alright, so we definitely right now should have enough blight to progress. Let's see. I gotta have enough now, bro. Come on now. Oh, I do. Let's go. Okay, so use this to purchase midwinter rewards from Gideon at the midwinter. Okay, let's do it. Craft one. Let's go. Alright, so we crafted one. Okay. Is that it? Huh? Wait, so how do we get in contact with a new big boss then? World boss? Slay the world boss? Begins in 42 minutes? Is that where like the new boss is going to be or something? No, that's a Shava. No, it says it right there. It says a Shava. So how do we get to the new the new boss? Now they say there's a new there's a new boss or something. Slay horrors of the mid went to blight to collect their seasonal offerings. Okay, so do we just keep slaying and stuff will happen or something? Okay, that's not it. Let's see. Is there a seasonal tab or something? Aspects, quests, consumables, equipment. No. We got blighted. So what What do I do with it when I get it, though? Like, let's see. So what happens? So I can interact with the table. Can I do anything more with him? Open the event shop. I only got one. Dang, that only got me one of them? These things cost 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 30, 30, 20. Golly! What is this though? After 30 seconds of Knight's Grass, gain Dunn's Heist, increasing your attack speed by 25. But what is, what is Knight's Grass? What is that though? Where is that? Knight's Grass. Gillian's Brew. Midwinter purse, 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 a cachet containing a bounty of gold as testament to your triumph over the midwinter blight to receive your rewards. Shard of Dunn of Knight's Grasp. Is this like a new ability you get or something? Okay, what about this? Interact. Okay. So this is just how we purchase. This is how we get the midwinter, the whatever these things are. Okay, how do we get the trophies though? How do we get the red cloak trophy? How do we get those? Okay, so this part looks pretty similar to like the seasonal content. The more enemies you kill within the rim, then the more you unlock these things right here. I guess these are rewards as well in the midwinter blight. Exchange event materials for midwinter proofs to raise your midwinter tribute. Unlock the midwinter ward at tier 3. Where's the ward? Unlock the midwinter ward at tier three. What's the ward? What's that? Greater midwinter spoils. Okay. I wonder what what is the ward then? What's that? Mm -hmm. What are these monsters, bro? People tell all sorts of stories about them. None good. 
They say they don grotesque masks, seek only misery, and steal away all who stray outside the firelight as tributes to a beast known as the Red Cloaked Horror. Some hmm. of the more gruesome stories even speak of those monsters once being tributes themselves. Returned to life from frozen husks and indebted to their new master forever. Does Midwinter Blight celebrate something specific? Not exactly. Well, not entirely, I guess. I don't think I've ever just explained it outside the rhyme. But, um, uh, this time in the dark, guarding against the monsters, there's so much fear. So people gather. In light, in celebration, in memory of the dead. The square is decorated not only with the effigies of monsters, but the heirlooms of the lost. Their warmth and unity isn't because we aren't afraid, it's because when we're afraid, we need each other the most. Okay, what's a bar doing here? I grew up in Hawazar with my mother, but it was here I was born. She told me stories of the season here. They, uh, the Cathedral of Light, that is. They aren't thrilled with a revival of the tradition. But I'm not alone. The people want a return to those roots. The music, the dance. We can't thrive in darkness without those. Who better to spread that than, well, me. Okay. How do we get to the boss though? That's what I want to know. But it says unlock the midwinter ward at tier 3. What does this guy say about the boss? People tell all sorts of stories about them. None good. They say they don grotesque masks, seek only misery, and steal away all who stray outside the firelight as tributes to a beast known as the Red Cloaked Horror. Some of the more gruesome stories. Okay, so it's the red cloaked horror. And then didn't this thing say right right here? You could exchange a red cloaked trophy for a midwinter proof. So how do you get the red cloaked warrior? That's what I'm warning. Wondering like how do you how do you how do you fight him? Trying to see if I see anything else. It just shows midwinter blight. Slay horrors on the midwinter blight to collect their seasonals. That's all they're showing. Let's see. That's a strong call. Strong call. Right, are there any specific um, dungeons or something? Yeah, I don't see anything like a secret boss. Well, like it all would be in this area, though. Yeah, I don't see anything here, uh, but I'm gonna go over here in this area right here because there seems to be some things over here we can do. Let's see if this can get us more, uh, more blight or what we need. But I mean, so far it's like a fun, a new fun little event thing that, that gives you something to do in Diablo 4. If you're done with the seasonal content or the other stuff. Hold on, we got enemies? Yeah. Yeah, bye, let's go. Oh, more y'all? Let's go, baby. Let's go. Who want it? Who want it? Who want it? 
Ah, oh, playing on me. Hot plan. What do we get? Two handed weapon overpowered. Let's go. Okay, I see something back there that's blight that we can get. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up now. Hold up, get off my boy. Who, who asking for help? Somebody, who, who yelling for help? Your presence. Oh shoot. Yeah. Out of the way, boy. Bro. I don't even see the person who yelling. Who yelling? Ooh. Ooh, there's a boss. There's a blight caller. Get out of here, boy. Bruh. I keep hearing people talking about some help, please. What is this? Blight out there, baby. There's some seasonal stuff right here. Whoa, is that a goblin? Oh, no, it's gone. Oh, dang. Dang. Okay. Abilities. All right, let's see. All right, let's go here. Let's heal up, you know what I'm saying? Well, there's enemies up here. There's blighted enemies. Well, I guess not exactly. But that looks to be pretty much it. It's pretty similar to the seasonal content. I don't know when you get to fight the actual big boss that they're talking about. Like I was hoping it would have been like a mission or something. But it doesn't seem to be a mission. Well, not yet, I guess. But I guess it's just new gear. New cosmetic stuff that you can get. That's what it looks like. New cosmetic stuff.
Well, I mean, guys, that seemed to be pretty much pretty much all it kind of is, honestly. Um, does you're collecting these rewards, and then you're turning them in at Kyoba Shot. And I guess maybe when you can when you complete when you unlock tier three, you unlock a new mission maybe, or then you can fight the new winter boss or something like that. But well, I'm not completely sure though. But I mean, this is pretty much it. This area right here, you have to be in seasonal mode in order to play the seasonal content. Um, that's all I'm really getting, honestly. Mid winter proof. Mid winter proof. Midwinter proof. Yeah, all of these give you the same as that thing. Midwinter proof. And then you can use those. Well, you get this right here just by killing enemies and the midwinter thing. Just by leveling up those. Your midwinter tribute. Oh, so this says your level goes up when you are when you exchange your materials, your midwinter gear for midwinter proof for midwinter tribute. This is how you unlock the midwinter uh, midwinter rewards, and then at tier three, it's saying you unlock midwinter. You unlock midwinter ward at tier three. I'm not sure what midwinter ward is. Maybe it's a new mission or something. But you need these materials in order to do that part right there. To craft those and then I think if you go to him you can open up the event shop and you can spend your war on stuff like this if you want to like, I'm gonna spend one just to see what it does mid winter purse I'm gonna spend it just to see what it gets us let's see dang dang give you a lot of money oh well that's nice Hold up, <laughs> but it does what again? <laughs> That'll give you a lot of money, King, a bounty of gold, wow. Gideon's Brew, that's one. Midwinter Spoils, a cache containing a collection of valuable rewards such as armor, gem fragments, and a potential dose of Gideon's Brew. And what is this? At the 30 seconds of Knight's Grasp, gain Dunn's Hate, increasing your attack speed by, and movement speed by, okay. So I'm guessing that like these things right here, like once you reach tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, you unlock legendary uh, cosmetics. Legend, you a lot new legendary abilities, right here. I'm guessing that's what those are. Right there, new legendary abilities. Cause if you go look here in the event shop, open event shop, there's this thing right here. Shard of Dun offensive effect, and it says at the 30 seconds of Knight's Grass. So that's probably one right there. Gain Dun's Heist, increasing your attack speed by 25, 30 percent movement. You know that right there. While empowered by the Midwinter Ward. Killing an enemy reduces Knight's Grab's duration by one second. I bet money that's what that is. I'm pretty sure that's probably what that is right there. But it looks like this area just main this stays the, the blighted area right here. Just this part here. I'm gonna go back here and just in case see if I miss something. If not, then we'll go ahead and we'll end the video there. Um, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's a lot that you need to learn about the thing. About the mid-winter um, holiday event. Not while I'm in town. Get out of my way. Alright, let's see. Y'all yeah, don't see anything like... Anything special over here. I don't understand why these enemies aren't blighted enemies though. Like I just feel like those should have been blighted enemies. Like, why aren't these enemies blighted?
Like I definitely wish the enemies were more more blighted. Like with the seasonal content, if you're in the vampire area, they are everywhere. All you're fighting are the vampire enemies. Like that's all you're fighting. Whoa, there they go. There goes some blighted enemies. Whoa. Yet. And first of all, I'm gonna stop this. Golly. Yeah, I kind of wish that more of the enemies were blighted enemies. Because I don't see anything here that I can do here. It's probably just showing that just this area. Because that's probably in the center. Yep, it's in the center. That makes sense. Let's see. All right, but yeah, guys, it looked like man, that's pretty much it for the for the blighted content. Um, it doesn't look like there's much to it. Um, just run around, kill enemies, get the material you need, craft the material, earn rewards. That's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> uh, so it's not like nothing huge. Uh, I guess it just gives gives us something else to do, like you know where bored with the seasonal content already or we're bored with the game or just want something new to do it's a pretty cool event i mean the enemies look pretty cool so that's pretty cool they got new abilities um new enemies in the area or fractured peace i wish i knew more about kind of like how to get to the boss i said there's a new boss but probably the more you play the seasonal more you play the uh the the event the midwinter blight event then the more chance you get to probably fight an actual new bosses here and probably when you reach tier 3, it says winter something is unlocked. So, maybe that's where you get a new mission or something like that. Because in my mission tab, there's nothing over here at all. This is this is the seasonal quest right here. And that's pretty much it. Um, so, that's, that's all that's even in here. But yeah, man. So, I'll leave it there, man. That's the, that's the end of the video. Um, there's not too much going on. Let me show you more. Um, honestly, and then this is the store, of course. Make, make sure y'all check out the Midwinter Blight in the store. See the new cosmetics that they're bringing to the game as well. Um, and all of these will be here, like the full term of it. So the full, I guess, 20, 20 days or so, the, all of these cosmetics would be here in the game. Um, so thank y'all for coming to the channel, man. Thank y'all for checking out the video. Um, if you're not subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button, man. I love to have you here, part of the team. Um, we do still play a lot of Diablo here. Um, I have the whole Diablo was the first game I actually loaded up on my YouTube. First game that I played on my YouTube, so it is pretty still special to me. Um, but you'll see, you can see me play through the whole season. Um, the, the episodes are in order, so you can see me play through the whole season on the channel. Um, of course, when the next season rolls out, when the first DLC comes out next year, uh, I'm gonna be playing a lot of Diablo for. Um, so thank you guys, man. Love you guys. Thank you for coming to the channel. Um, and then a uh, special thank to my subscribers, man. We're finally over 200 subscribers. That's crazy to me. We just started the channel with like zero, a three, four. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. Um, again, thank you for coming to the channel, man. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. God bless. Happy holidays.